Okay, so you've done the alignment test and you found that your mirrors need to be aligned. We'll do this in five stages. This may take a while to get the hang of, so be patient and be meticulous. The first stage is just prepping for the alignment. For this procedure, we're gonna need some thermal paper and some optic wipes. Before we start the alignment process, let's visualize what it is we're trying to do. We'll be aligning the invisible cutting beam using a visible red beam as our guide to make sure they both hit each mirror precisely. We'll first align the laser output to mirror one. Take a small piece of thermal paper, about a half inch square will do, and place it on mirror one, which is located to the left of the laser output tube. Now close the lid and press the test fire icon on your touch screen. If you don't see a mark, test fire again. This will put a small burn mark on our test paper. Now identify the red beam diode. Notice the difference between the red beam diode and the mirror. Be careful not to confuse the two or your adjustments will be off. Now we will just adjust the position of the red beam dot, tightening or loosening any of the three screws on the mirror or the red dot diode will move the position in a particular direction. Some experimenting will be required. Use only tiny micro turns of the screws. Small adjustments go a long ways, especially the further the beam travel. With this in mind, we want to position the red beam directly over the burn mark. Be very careful not to over tighten or over loosen the adjustment screws. Now, remove the thermal tape from mirror one. Use an optic wipe to clean the mirror if any residual adhesive remains on it. Next, we'll align mirror 1 to mirror 2. Once again, we'll place our thermal tape, but this time on mirror 2. Jog the gantry to its further south or down position. Now close the lid and test fire the laser. We'll see a burn mark on our paper. Carefully adjust the red beam dial to move directly over the burn mark. Don't worry if this places the red dot away from the center of the mirror. We'll just adjust that in the next step. Now that we have a burn mark on our thermal paper, from afar, move the X gantry to the uppermost position in the machine and test fire again. Return the gantry back to the far south position. There should be two observable burn marks on the thermal paper. If they overlap perfectly, you can move on to the next mirror. If they're apart, we'll need to adjust mirror one. Remember, this is different than the red beam diode we adjusted before and has a mirror. It uses the same principles of coordinating the three screws together. Carefully adjust mirror number one until the second burn mark is directly under the red beam dot. Repeat this process until the two burn marks overlap as close as possible, then move on to the next step. The third mirror is mounted on the laser head assembly and slides along the X gantry rail. Now we'll position our X gantry to the bottom of the workspace and our laser head to the far right, as shown. Now close the lid and test fire. Carefully adjust the red beam diode to move directly over the burn mark. Now we reposition for the close test fire. Once again, there should be two observable burn marks on your thermal paper. If they do not overlap, we'll need to adjust mirror number two. This is mirror number two we're adjusting now, not the red beam diode. Adjust the mirror screws to position the second burn mark under the red beam dot. It gets a little harder to align the two burn marks as we reflect off mirrors further away from the laser tube, but be patient and meticulous and we'll get there. We're almost done! The focal lens is located at the bottom of the laser head assembly. The laser beam should always be hitting the center of the focal lens to avoid clipping by the air nozzle. Place the square of thermal paper over the focus lens. Use the thumb screw to loosen and position focus lens as far down as it will go. Then retighten the thumb screw. With the lid closed, test fire the laser. Again, carefully adjust the red beam dial to move directly over the burn mark. You have successfully aligned your mirrors. The 
This may seem like a lot, but just be careful and meticulous and you'll get there. It may take repeating the process to get it right. Eventually, aligning your mirrors will become second nature to you. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out other laser related videos and tutorials at the link below.